Maguire's mom in tears over her son's performance during the Indomie task. Yes, um, I'm right now overwhelmed. Um, you know, I'm overwhelmed and I'm happy. Um, I'm so, so happy for, for, for Kid Wire and, and, you know, and the discipline and, and the fact that um, he hasn't forgotten where he's from. Uh, the fact that he's, he's appreciated the, my pocho and, and uh, <laughs> he brought tears to my eyes now. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. To all returning subscribers, I want to say a very big thank you. And if you just joined me for the very first time, thank you so much. Please, if you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bells, and guess what, guys? We're about to have a ride of a lifetime. So, like you all just watched, Kid Wire's mom was in tears today over her son's performance, saying she is very happy at the fact that Kid Wire has not forgotten the roots or where he came from. Yes, um, I'm right now overwhelmed. Um, you know, I'm overwhelmed and I'm happy. Um, I'm so so happy for 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 Kid Wire, and and you know and the discipline and and the fact that um, he hasn't forgotten where he's from, uh, the fact that he's he's appreciated the, my pocho, and and uh, <laughs> he brought tears to my eyes. And I wanted to share this very moment with you that I, I am so so overwhelmed. I thank you guys. I might be looking stupid right now. But I'm, I'm just, I'm just so grateful to God. Thank you, guys. Please vote for him. I mean, he's, <coughs> he's blown my mind off. Thank you. And anyone who knows my pocho knows. Uh, even my enemies love my pocho, isn't it, pocho? <laughs> I'm going to give you a little insight into what the game was like today. So today was for Indomie Nigeria and of course they had a task for the housemates. The task was tagged celebrating cultural heritage. The housemates were split into seven groups. Team 1, Kid Wai and Wotoni. Team 2, Erika and Neo. Team 3, Lucy and Ozo. Team 4, Talent Badge and Tricky T. Team 5, Lei Khan and Dorothy. Team 6, Nengi and Prince. Team 7, Brighto Envy. So the first task they were going to carry out was ingredient hunt. So all they were going to do was they were going to pick a card, take out the five ingredients that they want to use to cook and then get into the Indomie me pot a particular big yellow pot that was created for the task itself then when you bring out the props you're not going to have to exchange those props for the real ingredients themselves So after they were done with the hunt for the ingredients, the next thing they were going to do was to exchange their ingredients with their partners. So Wathoni gave Kidwire her own ingredients, while Kidwire gave Wathoni his own ingredients. So Kidwire was going to cook Wathoni's meal with her ingredients, while Wathoni was going to cook Kidwire's meal with his own ingredients. Remove some noodles, remove some noodles. Remove some noodles, it's too much. Just scoop the noodles itself out so the sauce can show. Scoop it up this anywhere, take. Um. And after they were done cooking, they would now go to the arena to make a presentation of the food they prepared and of course the ingredient they prepared it with for their partners and of course give us brief details into their culture and their heritage. First of all, I want to say big shout out to Indomie for the great products. I had a lot of fun making this. Um, it was really, really good. So, uh, my, I'm from Benue States, by the way. Uh, my local government is Van Dyck here. You go on Igbo. If you're an Igbo person. Igama. Igbo Igbo Kwenu. Igbo Kwenu. And once you were done tasting the meal that your partner prepared for you with the ingredients you gave to them, you were going to score them over 10 on their performance. And now it was time for Big Brother to announce the win, so he called all of them into the arena and asked them to mention the scores that they gave to their partners. Um, I gave a 30 a 7. Um, I think she did very well with the Indomie. Um, she used all the vegetables um, the same way I would. Um, she brought the beef first so it could be soft, which was the same process I would use as well, rather than just frying it which makes it sometimes harder truly. So I liked how she uh, boiled the beef. If she had more time, um, it would have been more softer. So that's primarily why I gave her a seven. 
After they were done, little did they know that they were waiting to get a shocker. So there was four million naira at stake, and of course, it was going to be shared equally among the housemates. But whoever scored their partner seven actually scored themselves seven. So Kid Wire, who scored with 27, was actually scoring himself, while with Tony, who scored Kid Wire 10, was actually scoring herself 10. Earlier on, when Big Brother told you to score your partner's cooking, you may have thought that you were scoring them. Well, the reverse is the case. The score you gave your partner is actually your own score for today's task. So it was more like you were doing yourself scoring your partner a lower score. Now on to my next year. So Tolani Baj and Wathoni were having a conversation today and Wathoni was asking why Tolani Baj took her own duvet into the head of house room and she told her that you know what, she saw stains on the duvet and the stains looked like the stains of cum. Why did they carry their duvet? So wait, they will be there using, were you not using the same duvet with him? Are you serious? I only slept there one night now and I carried my own. There's some sort of mm, the only reason why I didn't use the duvet was because it was dirty. There was like comb stains on it. And even the moving old, on. I didn't get shit. Um yeah, because I didn't talk much about it. Huh? I didn't talk much about it. The whole oh, well, I'm actually wondering what Tolani Baj was expecting because you know what? You have a guest who is Erika who goes to see her boyfriend, Kid Wire, in the head of house rooms and you're not always in the head of house room and of course you know stuff so we go down. Finally, on my gist for you guys, there was an interview that Ebuka had with Praise, the last evicted housemate and he said that himself and Katrina never had sex, that they were kissing aggressively. Yeah, so... Um, so what was that? I think um, at that point, apart from the fact that yes, we played games and we all were intoxicated yeah. and all, um, we, we, I would say... I, nothing happened for sure. <coughs> but <laughs> nothing happened for sure. Um, we yeah we cuddled and you know we kissed and it was very aggressive. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Well, I'm still wondering what kissing aggressively really means right now because at the end of the day we could actually see Katrina pull her panties or her shorts with her legs under the duvet. So maybe right now when you kiss your panties go off. We never can say, right? Thank you so much guys for watching. Please if you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bells and guess what guys? You get notified whenever I post a video. Go on all social media platforms on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter and of course on TikTok and follow me at the Femi Daniel. Until next time I come your way very soon, it's bye for now.